Hello, everyone. Can you hear me well? Uh, just type uh, yes in the chat box if you can hear me well. And let's start straight away. The, the last time we took, we usually run the class for one hour, but the last time we took one and a half hour. Uh, it was really interesting topic. So yeah, great. So I'd like to welcome everyone. Uh, and Dina, welcome to the class. It's your first time you're saying, and I am excited that you're joining us today. Um, great. So let's start straight away. Uh, today's topic is going to be very um, interesting, I'm sure. <laughs> now, uh, okay, just give me um, one minute. I'll, I'll just introduce myself, uh, tell you what are the uh, the class rules and we'll start straight away. Just before I start, I would like to welcome you all to the class. And um, um, I just want to let you know that we meet every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Ireland time, 9 p.m. Egypt and 10 p.m. KSA. This is class number 12. I can't believe it. So we've been running uh, this class for uh, 12 weeks now. Uh, it's almost three months. Uh, so, well, I'm excited and um, I really like, uh, I wait for Wednesday to meet you guys. Um, and I feel this is the, the quickest hour <laughs> that, you know, um, it, it just time flies, you know. So yeah, let me first introduce myself. My name is Nancy. I am originally from Egypt, but I've been living in Ireland for um, almost six years now. Uh, I am a pharmacist, but I shifted my career around seven years ago to become an English facilitator. So I, um, I taught English in Saudi Arabia for two years and uh, I've been uh, teaching English in Ireland since, since I came here. <laughs> so um, yeah, sorry, I'm just admitting people to the room. Yeah, so that's me. A year and a half ago, I just decided to um, start my YouTube channel. And um, as you see here, the name is in block. Uh, in this red box, it's easy English with Nancy, just to share the language experience and what I have learned so far since I came to Ireland. I wanted to share that with others. So um, yeah, uh, feel free to check my YouTube channel and you can find me also on Facebook and Instagram under the same name. Okay, uh, now we go quickly through the group agreement. Um, I just want to make sure that the voice is clear and uh, I'm not like speaking fast or something. So you can understand me well, if that's okay, just type yes in the chat box, okay? Uh, and now we'll go through the group agreement or the group rules. So we, this is an English speaking class, okay? So I ho hopefully I I'll try my best to give everyone chance to speak, okay? Uh, but the group rules, okay, perfect summer. She said yes, she understands me well. Hope the others uh, understand me as well. So just accept and respect uh, each other. Uh, we need to have one voice at a time. So last class we had um, a really nice debate between Shireen and, and Osama. Um, uh, like, you know, they were talking uh, together. So uh, I always like to have like one voice at a time, okay? So if someone is speaking, try to listen. And it's a win-win situation. It's like if you're, if you're listening, again, you're still learning English. So you speak only in English um, because the, this English speaking class. So try. I know it's, it's sometimes it's hard, but try your best to speak only in English because we like we have people from different parts of the world. So um, they might not be speaking Arabic. So we we'll stick to the English here in the class. You have a maximum of three minutes to speak. But if you want to say something later, uh, I can give you, you know, a chance to speak again. Uh, but this is just to try to give everyone a chance to speak. And um, I couldn't hear you. Um, maybe Shireen, try to, I don't know, check your uh, settings or something because at least the others can hear me well. Uh, so this is a judgment free Zoom, okay? Or just free class. So no one here is going to judge you or say your accent is bad, your English is bad, you're hesitant or no not in this class okay and i always say if you are brave enough to come here and start unmute yourself and speak in front of everyone you are 
actually you, like you want to learn okay so don't be scared to speak and um i always say this all this is all about progress not perfection okay so if you are in this level today and you are in this level tomorrow this is a progress you don't have to be perfectionist you don't have to like say each and every word uh correct it's okay to make mistakes no 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 one learn if he doesn't you know um, or he or she doesn't make mistakes and then i added just one point <laughs> because, because in this class i believe we'll have a lot of arguments so stay positive please i always try to do that in all my classes so uh okay great Shireen. so you can hear me now great so stay positive okay we're going to talk about living abroad okay we don't want to criticize countries we don't to criticize people or something no we want to talk about this topic in general uh, if you'd like to travel to some area and you would visit some country or you want to leave your own country you might you have your own personal reasons behind that okay but we'll try as much as possible to keep that general uh, if you want to say something personal about yourself it's okay but again remember to stay positive okay Great, so these are the, the class rules. If you guys agree to these rules, just type yes in the chat box and we'll start with the first question. Uh, yeah, just one more thing. We will stick to one hour today, okay? <laughs> we, so I, I'll just give you five minutes at the end if you have any question. Uh, just choose join audio. Okay, great, Sri. Uh, very good, okay. Uh, so yes, you agree? Good, so we are good to go. Now, now let's uh, go to the first question. I see uh, someone here. Let's go honor nine six. I think maybe this is the type of the phone or something. So I will ask to unmute. Uh, I'm sorry, you won't be able to unmute yourself this time. Who's who's writing on my screen, <laughs> guys? I don't know how to stop you from doing that. So don't uh, write on my screen, please. <laughs> So uh, I'll ask to unmute you, Honor 9X. Uh, let me just check, how can I? Hello. Hi. I am thanks, how are you? I'm good, how are you? What's your name? My name is Abdullah. Abdullah, how are you? You were, you were with us uh, last week. Yes. Yes, welcome Abdullah. How are you doing? Uh, nice, how are you doing? I'm good. Thanks very much. I'm really happy that you're joining us today. So Abdullah, can you yeah, tell, tell us where are you from and where do you live? I am from Jordan. Uh, I live in Amman. Okay, great. And tell me, um, uh, how old are you? I am uh, 10 years old. You're 10 years old. And do you go to school? Yes. Uh, so no, you... now on uh, Manasa no. Dersa. On, online online okay online yes yes it's like what we are doing now the same thing right yes yes great abdullah very good and do you like living in um, in jordan yes yes okay great it's very nice it's very it's nice yeah can okay. tell us why why do you like jordan i know it's your own country you all like our own countries but what is very nice about jordan uh because there are many uh, like Mudaraj uh, Romani. Okay. Is it like, okay. Is it, okay, great. So these are like places uh, we can Matra. visit. Right? Yes. It's okay. very nice. It's very nice. Okay. Uh, and what else? So are the people nice in Jordan? I have never been in Jordan. So are, are the people nice there? Yes, nice. Okay. It's very good. And are they helpful? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was in uh, Arab Arabian. Riyadh and Riyadh. Okay, in Saudi Arabia. Yes, in Saudi okay. Arabia. Okay, so you went there for a visit. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I uh, come from Saudi Arabia to here. You came from Saudi Arabia to to Jordan. Okay, but you yes. are originally from Jordan, right? Yes, yes, I am from Jordan. Okay, okay, that's great. And uh, did you like Saudi Arabia? Yes. Yeah, okay, but you prefer Jordan, I can say. Yes, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> great, that's very good. Thanks very much, Abdallah, for your participation. 
You're welcome. Okay. Great. So we have Abdullah. Abdullah was with us last class. We have Nada. Hello, Nada. Um, I was just saying that you won't be able to unmute yourself this time because we have a lot of participants, which is something I'm excited about. Uh, so just, you know, uh, to, um, well, sometimes um, uh, many people, you know, uh, unmute themselves at the same time. So I will unmute you. If you want to speak, just raise your hand like Abdullah and Nada. Nada, how are you? Hi, hello. Fine, thank you. Thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. <laughs> so Nada, this is uh, the topic you guys chose the last class uh, to, talk, to uh, yeah. you know, talk about living abroad. So uh, just introduce yourself. Tell us where are you from? Where do you live? And a question for you, Nada. If you could leave tomorrow to another country, where would you go? Tell us this after you introduce yourself. I, I'm Nada. I came from Egypt and I'm living in Saudi Arabia like for 12 years ago. Okay. Uh, and I really loved my experience on living here. I don't know why I just got used to the country here and, and the community and the people and the culture. Okay. So, you get yeah. used to the culture. This is a good thing. It's a very yeah, important yeah. thing. Yeah. And, and, and the best thing, like, I feel like I can try to talk in their dialect and I just feel it so sweet. <laughs> Okay, that's great. And tell me then, um, uh, well, so you don't feel like leaving uh, Saudi Arabia to any other country? Uh, uh, maybe when I grow up, I okay. think I would go to England, maybe. England, okay. And uh, why do you want to move to England? I just want to study there. And I oh. feel like I, I just want to, I would just want to live in this country. I, I just feel like so, so good. Okay. I just want to go. Yeah, and you want to improve your British accent, I would say, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have a great accent, Nada. I really like listening to you. Thank you so much. Okay, so tell me, Nada. So if you, so if you would uh, have a ticket to travel to some country, you would choose England. So what is your expectation about living in England? I really don't know, but I think I really don't know. I don't have any idea. Okay, so you don't have like uh, something in mind yet. You just can ask an exact question, and I, I'm, of course, I would answer it because <laughs> I really don't have an an exact idea in my mind now. Okay, yeah, okay. It's just you know, when someone, um, you know, want to live in some country, maybe they want. Of course, they are looking for a better life or something, but they might have something. Might something like, for example, if I work there, I might get like a bigger salary or if I work there I would uh, be treated equally or if I you know what I mean uh, yeah, something yeah. like that but uh, maybe it's too uh, early to say something like that because you're still you know, in school <laughs> yeah okay yeah, so um just, just a dreams for a teenager <laughs> yeah no it's okay you dreams go uh, dreams come true so if you just believe yeah. that you, it's something that you really want. But great. Uh, tell me, Nada, how old are you? Sorry, I, I forgot. <laughs> 13. 13, yeah. Great, Nada. And uh, uh, can I just ask you, how did you know about the class? Uh, my mother, actually, because I don't have Facebook. Okay. Uh, she, was, uh, she just sent me the link. Okay. And I tried from the first time. And from the first time I saw you, I just loved you. I don't know why. Oh, I just Nada, loved you. You're, you're so cute. Thank you very much for your kind words. And uh, one more question for you, Nada. Would you like to live in England temporarily or permanently? Uh, permanent. Got a chance. Permanent. Okay. That's very brave of you. <laughs> Good. Okay, Nada. Thanks very much for your participation. Now let me... Um, see who else would like to speak uh osama thanks very much i did that yeah and i hope nobody will be able now to you know uh destroy my presentation <laughs> okay dina why you can't hear me i don't know uh, try to check your i don't know sound settings on your laptop or or your phone because like everyone else can hear me well um I'd say Osama is a bit good with technology if you can help her with something, Osama, because <laughs> I'm terrible with this. I can, you know, uh, just put all the settings on this class. So who would like to speak? We have here Samatham. 
Hello, Samasam, how are you? Is, is that uh, hi, you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Uh, Samasam, this is your uh, name, right? It's it's your yeah, name. Yeah, no, my name is Sama. Sama. But yeah. my friends call me Samasim. Okay, yeah, it's a nice nickname. Yeah. You are um, um, a sister of Abdullah and Tarek, right? Yes. Yes, okay, welcome. You were with us last week. Yes. Yeah, so, so you are from Jordan as well. Yeah, I'm, yeah. and I'm living in Amman. I was living okay. for 13, year, 13 years in Saudi Arabia, oh. Riyadh. For th 13 years? Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's a very long time. Uh, how old are you, Sama? Uh, I am 14 years old. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, and uh, do you like uh, Saudi Arabia? Uh, yes, so much, because my friend and my grandmother and the grandfather are there. Oh, oh, really? Okay, so you have a family there. And uh, yeah. do, you, do you visit them often? Uh, yeah, we visit them, but uh, this year because of Corona and like yeah, this, we don't uh, travel. Yeah, I know. You must be missing them so much, right? <laughs> so much uh, because my mom is Syrian and I'm from Jordan. Oh, okay. Oh, so, wow. Okay. Oh, that's, that's pretty nice. And then tell your mommy that I love the Syrian accent. <laughs> I love the way they speak. And she loves you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much, Sama, for your participation. Uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course. Where's Ireland? Ireland was used to be a part of the of the UK, of the United Kingdom. So it's very, very close to um, to England. If you just take a look at the map, you find like England up there and Ireland is like there, down. Yeah, the yeah. Top. Yeah, so uh, they used to be like one, like part of the United Kingdom, but they um uh, they separated like 100 years ago something like that so, yeah yeah i understand yeah. you okay yeah. so please can i ask you one more question okay. okay okay how um how can i let my english uh, good because i was in an international school then because we come to jordan okay uh, and i uh, go to Arabic school, not okay. international. Yeah. So uh, they don't um, they don't care for English uh, to English so much. Okay. So how can I learn more English and like that? Okay. Number one, your English is very good. Like you are very fluent, and I can understand you. You have a good accent. Uh, so it, to improve yourself, you just you do maybe you just practice. Okay. So you are joining the class now. Try to listen maybe uh, to videos or something in English. Try to read stories. Uh, all these things help you uh, improve your English. So it's all about practice okay yeah thank you okay. so much i love um, you and yeah, thanks very much uh, for your participation and um yeah let's see who else would like okay uh, so shereen the voice is clear good um okay guys i'm really sorry i can't concentrate you know on speaking and the chat box so let's now go to the next question or if you want to answer the previous question it's okay so we have here arwa hello arwa hello hi how are you i'm fine arwa where are you from i'm from egypt and i'm uh, i'm living in egypt too okay great so what do you think about okay maybe we can let you uh, like give you a chance to answer the previous question if that's okay so tell me, okay. if you could leave tomorrow to another country, where would you go? Uh, I want to go to uh, Germany. Germany, okay. Because right. yeah, I'm studying the German language these days, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm a big fan of this language. Wow, okay. And what, yeah. well, I find it very hard. You know, I, 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 I lived like two years, first two years of my life in Germany. Two or three years, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. But I, uh, I used to speak yes. German, but now nothing at all. Mm. Uh, okay, because we forgot uh, everything about German if we stop to uh, stop practicing it for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And uh, how long have you been, uh, uh, you know, learning uh, German? Uh, I think uh, six months. Yeah, six, six months. months. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a fluent in German, but. Uh, I, it's not bad here, yeah. Okay, I have <laughs> yeah. I have a friend of mine. Um, uh, she lives in um, in Germany, but yeah. for a long time now, and I, she's 
like fluent but I, when she speaks mm -mm. like i i don't understand anything like you can give yes you know the meaning like it's totally different <laughs> than english <laughs> yes but it's uh, it's yeah, yeah. um like french is that okay it yeah. may be like french yeah if, if we if you study studied the french uh, you can get uh, their grammar or uh, okay. something like that yeah okay, yeah 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 okay uh, so okay so if you uh, have a chance to leave tomorrow you will go, you will go to germany so what is yeah. your expectation about living in in germany um because they they are restricted and it's uh, I'm um, I'm I'm structured in I'm I'm studying the business administration and um um I mean I like them in everything. Uh, okay, yeah. That's so all. you like that? Maybe they are following the rules and. Uh, yeah, exactly. They okay. following the rules. Uh, they they come in uh, on the date. Uh, Okay. everything like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. So what you meant to say that they are strict. Yeah, strict, strict, yeah, strict, yeah, and um, yeah. okay, but is this something that you can live with? Like, I mean, like some people when they they find that, oh my god, like they come exactly on the, on that time, and in in our culture, for example, the time orientation is horrible. So it's just, yeah, you know, it's okay to be late for fifteen minutes or so, but then when you are there and then you are fifteen minutes late, people look at you like. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> it's always my problem with my friends and with the, in, in my university uh, that uh, um, I'm strict and I can't accept any uh, anything like like that. Okay. Mm. Yeah. 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 So you are punctual. Punctual. Yeah. Yeah. So you punctual? are. Punctual. Yeah. Punctual is a person who always on time. Like it's it's at eight o'clock yeah. that you should be so you will come at eight o'clock so you're punctual and um, people which are uh, who are uh, perfectionists huh. perfectionists yeah and uh, I, i'm i'm care of details so it's uh, okay very difficult yeah oh ah, okay so you are a perfectionist yeah <laughs> okay yeah you must be suffering in Egypt. so i think it, it is the most suitable place to live in okay yeah for you yeah, yeah. oh that's good and would you like to live there temporarily or permanently no temporarily because uh, of course everyone if if you can't find your chance in your country but you 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 are loyal to your country even you travel to any 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 country else yeah, yeah. so uh, i think it will be a temporary uh, mm -hmm. to to live there to gain a new experience to gain mm -hmm. a new uh, language something okay. else but uh, returning back to my country okay okay great and um do you have fears do you have fears of living uh, um, of course because uh, if you travel to a new country you 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 will face the culture shock of course at the first and uh, with the with the, uh, because i'm a muslim so mm. there um, some i can't i can, what do you call this uh, they mm preference between muslim and okay, discrimination. hijab discrimination yeah discrimination, discrimination. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah yeah when you when people judge you or treat you differently yeah according to what you dress or the way you look you know so we call this discrimination yeah yeah okay so okay you're actually very good because this is another question that we're going to talk about uh, maybe a few minutes uh, later but thank you very much Ara for your participation uh, please uh, can I ask you a question yeah, of course yeah uh, can you please uh, evaluate my accent and my English okay uh, yeah. you know what I always like to say that privately if that's okay so uh, if you are are you following me on Facebook or Instagram because I, I don't have any problem to tell me here yeah, yeah it's just you know because we have only 15 uh, I mean like 30 oh, okay left. so I I like you know to keep can us, you please uh, leave the link of your account yes I'll do that I at it. the end 
at the end yeah. I'll, I'll put it and if someone could just write the name on the chat box uh for her or send the link I'd be very grateful thank you very okay, much thank I, you so much I'm really sorry about that I'm just you know trying to focus on the topic no 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 problem it's okay okay thank you very thank much you. Our... thank you okay now we have Dina hello Dina hello, hello. hi Dina how are you I'm fine thank you how are you too I'm good, thank you. Uh, tell me, Dina, where are you from? I'm from Egypt. Okay, and uh, do you live in Egypt? Yeah, yeah I'm okay. from Egypt in, uh, in, Cairo, in Banha. In Banha, okay. Uh, yeah, me, did you know Banha? Of course I know. My grandmother <laughs> is from Banha. Like, she, she used to live there, but like a long time ago, she lived in, you know, in Cairo. But I, of course I know it. <laughs> Yeah, tell me, uh, tell me, Dina. Um, now, is there a country uh, like do you have a dream country that you would love to travel to? Um, I think that America. America, okay. And yeah. why? You mind me asking? What is your expectation about living there? Um, it's just only for um, improve my my English. Okay. To I, I think that uh, more practice with native speakers in America, mm. so I can improve my English. Okay. And uh, do you, well, ha have you thought about the way people living or it's going to be easy or hard li living with people from different culture, coming from different countries? Because America is like a very big country, so you'll find people from every part in the world. So what do you think about that? Do you think it's it's difficult or it's easy to live with people from different countries? Surely, it's uh, from my first time in in America, um, it will be very difficult. Yeah. Uh, but um, you will get used to it. Excuse me. What? You will get used to it. I mean, like you will yeah. be able to to deal with the people and will be okay, right? That's what you mean, right? Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you very much, Dina, for your participation. Okay. Now we have Samar. Hello, Samar. Hello, Nancy. How Hi. are you? I'm good. How are you? Fine. Thank you. So, uh, Samar, you said um, you are you are because you wrote that in the chat box. You you are from Egypt and you live in Saudi Arabia, right? Yeah, right. Okay, yes. tell me, Samar, uh, if you would like to travel to some country, where would you like to go? I will stay in Saudi Arabia. I live uh, this country very much. Wow, that's very good. So you are I... in the right place. <laughs> yes. Okay, At great. first, when uh, I know that I will travel to Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. the first thing come in my head is that uh, I will uh, see the desert, uh, tents, uh, camels, the primitive life. But I, I shocked, surprised uh, when I saw reality. It's a very developed country, uh, clean, lovely people. Mm. Uh, I didn't uh, think that uh, okay. this country will be that. Okay, very good. Okay, you know what? Um, you know when when I tell someone that I am from Egypt, this is the, the <laughs> image they draw in their mind. I am hundred percent sure about that. Like they are, uh, you know, they think that we still live in the desert. We we you know ride camels and uh, we maybe yeah. everybody lives beside the pyramids. This is the image in their mind. Like they don't <laughs> yes, think yes, that we have uh, shopping so. malls or, you know, like the, the cars and stuff there. <laughs> so it just, you know, when you said that, it just came to my mind. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, I should. Yeah. And, and tell me, do you have fears about living in Saudi Arabia or any, I mean, like, do you have general fears uh, about living in different country other than your homeland? Yes, of course. Uh, mm. uh, at first, uh, 
you enter a country that you didn't know anybody or uh, anything about it but uh, when you deal with others you know more and more you love the country or hate it uh, according to the dealing a uh, culture difference, uh, language uh, which yeah. uh, differ completely from your own yeah. safety. You don't know if you will be safe uh, in this place or yeah. no. Yes. Uh, failure, you must uh, approve yourself and work yeah. hard to be success in uh, your field. Yeah, yes, you're afraid of fail. Yes, of course, all these are fears. One of them are here, very good. Yeah, you, you summed up them all, so it's very good. Yeah, it's, it's, it, these are the general fears of, and, and also I, I I would add to that homesickness or loneliness, like you, you might feel homesick. You might yes. feel that, oh my God, like I miss my family, I miss my friends, I miss my country. Uh, yes. yes, so this uh, is one. Very much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, Summer, <laughs> thank you very much for your participation you said a lot actually yeah, yeah, yeah. well you haven't left any fear for anyone to say <laughs> you said them all <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. thank you thank you great we have here uh, Muhammad Ismail hello hello Muhammad can you hear me Hello. Okay. We'll have, uh, okay, Usama. Hello, Usama. Hello, how are you, Ms. Nancy? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. Greetings for all, for Summer and for all our friends here. Welcome, and Usama. And of course, as usual, we should thank you for your great effort presentation and your uh, time thank you and we want to ask you about your uh, your feeling in ireland would you like to change the country or not well it's it's a hard question to answer but let me uh, maybe yeah maybe talk about ireland yes i love uh, i love this country very much because you know well the only thing that I don't like about it is the horrible winter because like it's very cloudy and all that. Yeah, but I uh, saw your video about sunny sunny room. It's uh, it was great. <laughs> I, I, I saw your happiness in your eyes. Yes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. Uh, you, you know, you know, Miss Summer, we here I live in Kuwait, so uh, yeah. we can give you a lot of. Sun. Yeah, I know. <laughs> give you uh, just a a bowl of sun to, uh, <laughs> as a, a present for you and. Uh, we can, uh, of course, we can take snow and everything you want. Snow storms, <laughs> anything we can take. It. But, I know. But uh, really, okay. we we want to get rid of uh, the sun. We oh, here in uh, in hill in in, in <laughs> summer. No, you can't imagine really. Yeah. No, but I think yeah, the same weather uh, was in Saudi Arabia, and I lived there for two years, so I know it goes yeah, yeah. up to. But in Kuwait is <laughs> the hottest. I think it's uh, really? many many times you will see. Uh, mm -hmm. In the news, it's the hottest point in the world. Wow. Yeah, really, okay. uh, really, uh, wow. you can't imagine. Really. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot. No, but yeah, so apart from the weather, I like the, the country. I like the people are very kind and very friendly. So yeah, I, I, I think I love living here. It's a, it's a nice so, country. And I, I'd love to... origin town, Miss Nancy? I'm, I'm from Egypt. Yeah, I know. Town, not, not country. Ah, town, town. Sorry, oh, I thought the country. Yeah, uh, I live in the south in uh, um, uh, a town called Wexford. In the, it's in the south of the island. And in uh, Egypt? Uh, no, no, this is in, uh, in, in Ireland, but you were talking yeah, about I Egypt. Know. No, I'm originally from Port Said. Port Said, okay. Yes, yeah. Great. Now yeah. tell me, tell me uh, Osama. Uh, what is your worst fear about moving to another country? You already live in Kuwait. So how yeah. do you find, like, what is your fear or your worst fear about living there? You know, the most, the most thing you, you will find that you, uh, especially uh, in many countries, you will feel that you are a second-hand citizen. You are not uh, a real citizen. Uh, of course, as for uh, all, we have homesickness to our uh, country, to our mm. people, to our streets, to our memories. 
Okay. Yeah, but uh, you know, we, we just uh, want to search for a better paid jobs for uh, more more uh, hmm. comfortable life. Then why, why in, are you saying um, that? Like, uh, don't you feel that you are treated equally? Uh, no, yeah, of course, low um, in every country um, mm. make people equal, but uh, you know, every country uh, has it and yeah, all uh, their uh, efforts to mm. their citizens, not for a newcomer. Okay. You know, uh, even if you lived for 20 years, no problem. Mm. The citizen is the priority of priority of the, of the country. Okay, but you know what? Um, I'm really sad to say that, but this is unfortunately only in the Arabic countries. Like, I, I know that you might be discriminated against in some countries, even the most, you know, uh, civilized countries. But I mean, um, the, as you said, like, if there is a law, okay, it will be there for, like, if you, if you, um, what I wanted to say, like, if there is a is a law, or you you must be treated equally. But unfortunately, you might be staying for years in in Arabic countries, and uh, and like this is the way you feel because they will never grant you their nationality. They will never grant you. Um, I, I know that you might have like a, a lower salary than the or a native citizen yeah, or something. Yeah. Uh, I know, I know, but. Uh, well, yeah, for example, but, if you if you, you talk about uh, about uh, Ireland, for example, like the you if you are a doctor coming from, you know, whatever place you're coming from, or an Irish doctor, you will both have the same salary, you know. Yeah, yeah, you are right, yeah. but it's a contract between you and uh, others mm. before coming to a, any country yeah. that you will take uh, 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 a salary, and you agree. It's mm. no problem, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 we can't blame any country yeah. that she, uh, that it, it uh, uh, gives it all, all, yeah, all, all its effects and efforts to, 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 to the citizen. Yeah. Yeah. Because this the is the, of, well, that's yeah. why we actually yeah. live. It's my country. country. Yeah. Yeah. It's my country. So I, I, yeah. I'm the first. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and as for uh, everything, you, uh, you will, if you, uh, both of you, in front of law, you will take your uh, yeah, right. your right, yes. your problem, yeah. Yeah, but okay. you know, uh, the most thing you we we miss, uh, mm. of course, our family, our friends, yeah. 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 Okay. It's the most thing you will find. And tell me, tell me, uh, um, Osama. So, are you? This is uh, another question, but I would like to ask you since you raised the, uh, this. Uh, are you concerned that you might be discriminated against? discriminated means that you might be treated yeah. like differently because maybe, maybe you, you may find the racism yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's like uh, mm. yeah no, uh, as for me i didn't uh mm. i didn't see this uh, as we, we are here um, uh, people are uh, muslims are even not muslim people here uh, all uh, respect law okay all have uh, yeah uh, law make all uh, all people uh, at the same life Okay, so they are all. You know, equal. even even you know, uh, just in, in Egypt, you 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 may uh, you may uh, I don't know exceed uh, traffic light. You may do anything. You know, uh, mm -hmm. you you are driving outside in any country other. I, I, I you should follow traffic light. Even uh, there is no cam, there is no uh, policeman, there is nothing. Yeah. you will respect it. So when you come to Egypt, I respect it as uh, as our team. Yeah. yeah. By the you know. Uh... Mm. Yeah, I know. Okay, so tell me uh, if if something like if if you if you feel that someone is treated you differently because of your appearance, your religion, or your color, how would you react? No, as for me, I I can't tell you because I, I I'm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an angry man. I can't. Uh, I can't. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, yeah, I can't fear. I can't fear anything uh, of racism. Yeah, racism. even okay. uh, even I will uh, travel the next day. I will not uh, stop. Uh, okay. I, my reaction. I can't. I can't uh, pretend it. Okay. It will be uh, on time. Okay. So, what kind of reaction? I'm now, you know, curious to know. No, even yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You you can imagine in your action. 
Yeah. If okay. We, yeah. So just, just you if like we, if we just shouting or uh, the treating me badly, I uh, uh, treat him uh, the same. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If it uh, comes to a fight, I will go. No problem. I can't travel no, tomorrow. No problem. But mm -hmm. I took my right. Okay. What What do you think you would take your right this way, or maybe it's a, it's a better way to be? I don't know. Of like course, quite of course, afraid to be. Try to go to the law. You, 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 if oh. even th uh, anything happen, oh, yeah, you can take your right by law. But yeah. uh, sometimes, you know, in Egypt, in any place, uh, you can't um, mm. uh, control yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that's bad thing. I know it's bad thing. Mm. But you yeah, know. That's why I'm, uh, I'm saying, like, uh, maybe it, I asked. It's a kind of dignity. Yeah. But you know, I, I know, but what if you you stayed, for example, quiet and you think like you thought wisely and tried to think, how can I fix this or take my right by law? Maybe you can, you know, um, make a complaint or a check uh, for, you know, like you can correct the accident are, or something like that. If you are in a governmental holding, you will uh, make a complaint. You have no choice. You mm. will make a complaint. You okay. will go to, uh, Mm. I don't know what how to say it, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, formal, formal. You will go uh, okay. to the manager to uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. It will be yeah, just complain by papers. Okay. You can't even raise your voice. Mm. Here I can go to the prison. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's actually uh... most of people. You know, actually, mm. most of people uh, try. They they uh, treated you uh, well. If mm. you are uh, talking in a thoughtful way, okay, it's uh, yeah, it's rarely to find the bad, uh, bad, bad manner that's, from that's someone. Good. If you are thoughtful, if you are uh, treated him kindly, okay, yeah, 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 great. If you some... please uh, to play anything, yeah, yeah, he will treat you uh, the okay. same. Yeah, great. Um, um, I really thank you so much for your participation, and <laughs> I believe it's way more than three minutes. <laughs> But okay. it's okay. Thank you for your opinion. And uh, I'll, you. I'll check who else would like to uh, talk about this. So if you, if you felt that someone or, or you are treated differently or you are discriminated against, how would you react to that? So we have here, um, okay, now Muhammad Salama. Hello, Muhammad. Uh, just, uh, uh, I asked to unmute you just accept or decline the request if you don't feel like speaking. Hello, Muhammad. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, Muhammad. How are you? Can you hear me? How are you? I'm good. Fine. Thank you fine. How are you too? I'm yeah, good. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, great. Muhammad, where are you from? I'm from Egypt, but I live in uh, UAE. Okay, great. And uh, how, do you find, how do you find the country? Nice. Very nice. Yeah, expensive, I yeah. bet. <laughs> Which part? Yeah, expensive, expensive. Yeah, okay, but uh, hmm. if you give me a good salary, I can live anywhere. Okay. Oh, that's very good. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And have you ever felt like you are treated differently, um, Muhammad? Different for what? Have you ever felt like you are treated differently, like in, a, in a, not an, in an equal way with the other citizen, original citizen? Be between uh, Egypt? I uh, know, like, like you, you live now in, uh, in Emirates, right? So yeah, yeah. have you ever felt like people over there treat you unequally from, um, you know, from the other native citizens, from the Emirati people? What is the meaning of equality? Of what? Oh, yeah, okay. Equality means that if you are from Egypt, you are from India, you are from any other country, all of you must have the same right, must be treated the same way. So yeah, 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 same, same yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. same, same, same. Every people from any country, here, yeah. same. Okay. This country, this country have rule, good rule. Yeah, great. Yeah, for living, yeah. Okay, great. And uh, tell me, um, uh, Muhammad, what is your fears about living in um, other country, like another country other than your homeland, your fears? Fear? Fears, yeah. No, no, I'm not fear of uh, anywhere. Okay. It's okay for me. Okay. I tell you before, if, if I have a good salary, I can live anywhere. 
Okay. And um, yeah, yeah. tell me, do you have, are you married? Like, do you have children? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm married. I have three children. Okay, great. And okay, so if I ask, if I ask that question to someone, for example, who live in America or who live in some country that has a different uh, culture than our yeah, culture, yeah. And yeah. that person has children. He might say that I am I am scared because you know, like we have the, like this country has different culture. The, my my children may not be able, I might not be able to raise my children in this country because of the yeah. culture thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's great that you feel it's okay for you to live anywhere. This is very good. So you don't have yeah. any of those fears that uh, Osama and Samar mentioned. Yeah, I agreed with uh, Mr. Osama. Okay, so we have here, if you can, can you see the, the screen? Can you see this presentation? Okay, wait, I will. Yeah, because there are yeah, yeah, some yeah, common yeah, yeah. fears here. Okay, can you take a look at yeah. them and tell me if you have any of them? Finance? Yeah, finances. It's like uh, maybe it. a problem with the money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're problem. okay with yeah, that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm not okay with this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> language it's okay it's arabic country okay yeah and okay. culture it's okay also okay yeah and what this loneliness, loneliness. what is the mean yeah loneliness is when you when you are lonely it means that you fear you feel that you are alone you don't La have anyone around no 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 about this i have uh, friends okay. here with yeah. me and you have your family, um, so that's good. <laughs> no, not family. No, family will not, uh, not with me. Family in Egypt. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, so do you... Mm. Yeah, yeah, I have friends here, yeah. Okay. And you get homesickness? Homesickness. What is the meaning of homesickness? Homesickness means that home, we call home your country, yeah. your home. We call your own country, like you are from Egypt, so we call your own country, your homeland. Homeland. Yeah. So when you get... Yeah. Homesickness, it means that you really miss going to your country. That's a home. Yeah, really, really, really I miss uh, my home in country. You know, yeah. this this Egypt different here in uh, this first time uh, left Egypt in uh, UAE before okay. maybe one year ago. Okay. Uh, when I uh, come, come back in Egypt, hmm. this uh, air, it's very different, very different. Okay. Uh, you know, mother of world. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that. Well, I don't know. Well, I visited a lot of countries and I totally yeah. like 100% agree with you. I'm not no, no, saying no, that because very, yeah. very, very different. Very different. Really, very different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, okay, so you, may, you might be a bit, um, you know, you might get uh, a fear of homesickness. Uh, what yeah. about safety? It's very safety, better than Egypt. Better safe. Okay, it's safe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and um, would you get? Would you be afraid of failure that you may not succeed in um, in Emirates or any other country? Would you get that feel that you you know you feel scared? Maybe this that that's where really this this feel maybe first time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But, hmm. Yeah, yeah. But after live maybe one year, it's okay. Like my country, second home. Okay, very good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Uh, Muhammad, uh, this is your first time here, right? Your first time yeah, in yeah. the class. Yeah, first class, yeah, yeah, first. Oh, but okay. I think yeah, it's very good. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, great. Uh, we will see you uh, again next week and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. I will. And I YouTube. Will. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank Muhammad. You. Okay, we have here Shireen. Hello, Shireen. Hi, Shireen, how are you? Hello, hello, Hi. hello, Welcome Nancy. Back. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, Shireen, we have now- I love this topic today. Yes, it's very nice. Guys, that's what you chose the last class and I really like it. I was very excited when I was, you know, preparing the presentation and I felt like there are a lot of things to be said in the, around this topic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I have- I can, uh, Yeah. I'm near you. Yeah, I, I know that you live in Egypt, right, uh, Shireen? Before, uh, yes, uh, you talk about the fear uh, uh, for, tra for traveling. Yes. Yes. I yes. think everyone who travel sees all that fears. 
I think. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what made me move from my town, leave my town and mm. my, my country and to a new country is my ambitious. But I know that I will face all fears. Can can you bring this picture, please, to see him? Yeah, of what course. We talk yeah. about? Here. Yes, yeah, I think he he will afraid mm. from finance mm. that he he will find that job will be right for him in yeah. uh, continuing his career mm. or not. He yeah. will think in that language. He was afraid if he couldn't speak well yeah. and uh, communicate with people. Yeah, uh, and I think lonely feeling lonely yes mm. sure he don't he don't know anyone mm. yet yeah, uh, i i think i think that he, i, I thought, think at the beginning of the uh, mm. uh, of the of mm. his trip mm. i think he will face all, all that safety yes. i think the safety not uh, being the police around him or camera or uh, yeah. or anything else it's inside feeling how you yes. can, how you will feel safe um, he is away of his family yeah. uh, if he has a face a problem yeah. he have to you um, have to account on himself Sounds no one good. will help you mm. i know he he will be fine his friends around him mm. but the family just the thought is here, right like yeah. it's all about like it's all in your mind all these thoughts or scary thoughts in your mind I couldn't hear you because the voice is not clear. Okay, now can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. No, I was just saying that all the thoughts, uh, like, would be on somebody's mind yeah. if he's going to trouble. Yeah. But when you actually yeah. go there, it might be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but but he had cancer. Yeah. To take a step, uh, it's very important to think about his fears. Like, mm -hmm. it's very important. Yeah. To think well, if he if his his step is very important, or he he can continue his life in his country. Yeah. But in my opinion, uh, it's to good to take uh, this step. But I, hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, I hear hello, you. Hello, I can hear you. Yes, I couldn't hear you. If you could hear me, raise your hand. I can hear you. Hello. Okay, Shireen disappeared. Okay, and uh, now we'll have Noor. Thank you, Shireen. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Hello, uh, Noor. Um, I, yeah, just accept the request to unmute you. Hello. Hello. Hi, Noor. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you well. You can hear me, right? <laughs> Noor, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I hear you. Okay, Noor, uh, where are you from? I'm from Iraq. Okay, great. And uh, you live there? Yeah, yeah, I live in Iraq. Okay, great. Uh, I'm 25 years old. Okay, welcome to the class, Noor. I see that you, you joined uh, the class last week, but you couldn't speak, right? I think that you kept uh, logging. Uh, yeah, out and yeah, yeah. Know. This is the first time. Yeah, 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 this is the first time I participate in the, in the class. Welcome. And also, uh, it. thank you so much. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, the first, like, the first uh, class I uh, couldn't... Uh, uh here uh hold the the class because oh. the internet was uh terribly terrible okay so that uh but this it's is okay. the first time you i first here. play it's okay you are here with us today and uh, now tell me tell me noor um i will ask you a question here if you now you you, you live in your own country so uh, this, yes. one, this this one uh, in in yellow is for someone who it's a question for someone who lives uh, outside his yes, country. Yes, I and live then, in Iraq. Yes, so you live in Iraq. So if you live in your own country, tell us one cultural practice that Sorry, you. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Okay, uh, I'll say that again. Uh, you can uh, you can actually take a look at Hello? the this slide. Yes, Noor. Guys, can you hear me? 
if if yes type yes in the so channel. i i can see the picture but i couldn't hear your voice okay uh, so i was just I'll saying, talk about the pictures yes if you live in your own country tell us i'm one. gonna comment on it okay yeah. it is okay yeah yeah go ahead yeah the um if, um, yeah just read what's cancer. in the black the black the uh, the opposite yeah the uh, the most important uh, the uh, negative thing that i faced in my in my uh, country that uh, there's a racism i okay. mean uh, inequality uh, treat people without a hello Hello, Noor. I can't hear you. Noor? Yes. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so you were talking, you were saying that uh, there, are, uh, there is inequality and um, racism. Right? Yeah. Okay. Racism, yeah. Okay, go ahead because I couldn't hear you. Yeah, mm -hmm. now three people about the uh, humanity. Mm, okay. Yeah, we, 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 yeah, sorry. We have to treat people uh, based on humanity without care at uh, their appearance, their religion, their uh, color. Mm. It is not uh, equal. Okay. Uh, we okay. Um, Noor, I think the, the voice is disappeared again have to uh, treat them on <laughs> okay sorry Noor it just yeah I heard a few words but then the voice disappeared uh, yeah disconnected okay guys like can you all hear me and yeah okay you can hear me good now I will take someone else I'm really sorry uh, Noor about the like I can't hear you um we have here um guys i i need to pick someone who didn't speak because like it's uh, we're almost about to we're, we're about to finish here we have claudia here hello claudia hi how are you i'm good how are you claudia hello. <laughs> i'm fine thanks claudia <laughs> tell me uh where are you thank from? you for inviting me to uh well to this class <laughs> you're very welcome Be class so tell us where are you from and um... yeah well I I would like to say that I'm Claudia I'm one of my uh, one cultural practice and I really like here mm. is the um, the places that we have to like a meeting places mm. uh, in bars in coffee shops. Okay. Because here it's very common to meet, um, to make meetings in terraces. So that's okay. something that is amazing when it's. Okay. Hello. Um, to have like a lot of chats in that places with good weather and even in the parks. Okay. So that's a thing. It's a good thing then. Yeah. Know? That's uh, that's great. And um, okay, tell me one cultural practice, something that you know it's a cultural thing that happens in your country. Maybe something like you know a, a habit or um, some kind of festival or uh, a tradition that is in your country. I believe you're from. You said you're from Spain, so some Spanish mm -hmm. thing uh, and uh, that you like or hate <laughs> or you would like to change something like that. So um, do you have something in mind? Okay. Yeah. Actually, uh, we just passed the 12th October. This is the, the Spanish day here. We are celebrating with, uh, um, we are providing flowers to a statue of the, well, it's a religion, it's a religious uh, event, but we are celebrating this day, giving flowers to a, a statue of the Virgin of Mary Virgin. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we have a lot of parties, like concerts, we have a lot of meetings, people is wearing folklore clothes. 
Okay. So that's amazing. No, it's like a mix of culture of different countries oh, giving really? flowers, no, to, wow. uh, to others. So it's a and great, I believe you like it, a great right? cultural practice. Wow, that's very nice. Like I'm, I'm just trying to imagine how it's like, but and it, it looks uh, like I imagine it's very nice. If you can hear me now. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cl uh, Claudia is a dear friend of mine and Claudia I actually want to ask you this question but uh, if you don't feel like uh, answering it it's so right okay so it's actually mm -hmm. about uh, you know marrying or uh, yeah marrying someone from a different country <laughs> someone from <laughs> different culture if you don't feel like uh, uh, you know answering this it's totally up to you whatever you think so because you know, like this question is just what do you think when you see a couple from two different countries and culture uh, unite together? Uh, would you agree to, mar to marry someone from different culture or someone who doesn't speak your own uh, language or your mother tongue? <clears throat> so if you don't feel like, again, if you don't feel like uh, answering, it's up to you. <laughs> well, uh, it's okay for me. I think like, well, it's fine. Uh, what I think when I see a couple from two different countries, in my case, is is well, it's quite normal, no? Yeah. Mm. I think a long time ago, like uh, 20, 30 years ago, it was very because there it was not immigrants and it was not that mm. uh, we couldn't see some um, different uh, people from different countries. Yeah. So I think in the past was very strange, but here mm. I think the, I think we are changing you know, our mind and. Yeah. Uh, we are more modern <laughs> and yeah. yeah i think all, it's all right i think it's amazing to have uh, this experience in my case was great is mm. you can learn a lot from different countries and it's all a process no you okay. always when you meet someone you are learning a lot from that person and when you are living and yeah you know you feel something no one well it's great yeah yeah and you never stop to learn and do you find mm -hmm. a difficulty of communication sometimes or it's okay <laughs> even with someone you know, not, okay yeah not just well, a partner you know like or not not just like <laughs> husband and wife i mean sometimes like if you have well in my case like i'm a weird we're friends and sometimes it's it's easy to stuck with words you know like, yeah, common, Nancy, like sometimes the, the the video is stopping so i cannot hear you oh, all really? the question okay okay yeah okay so go ahead you were about to say something so yeah on. Okay, uh, I couldn't I couldn't hear you all the question because the the video was like stopping okay. sometimes. But I think I understood the most <laughs> important. Uh, yeah, I think the um, um, okay the question I think it was like the, um, the some experience that I have or about the no, no, uh, okay. I the difficulties that I could have yeah. now to yeah. yeah to have a conversation with a person from different countries, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, uh, in my own experience, I could say that uh, mm. for me, it was a great experience. It was like, well, you need to be passing and you need to speak slowly. Yeah. And the pronunciation is quite different for each person and from each country is logic. So um, I think the most important is to be passionate and be open mind. And you will find mm. that the, even if you are coming from different languages mm. or from different cultures, mm. Hello, Claudia? No, the voice is gone again. <laughs> Hello? Okay, the voice is gone. Hey guys, um, <clears throat> now I want to ask you again, like, can you hear me well? Please type yes in the chat box. Uh, anybody just uh, let me know if you can hear me. Yes. Okay. Great. Thank you, Summer. Um, uh, unfortunately, we are out of time again, <laughs> but I will ask. Uh, just uh, please, just five minutes. I know you have to finish. Um, I, I want to volunteers. Okay. Uh, someone will talk about. You know, it's it's kind of a debate that we did the last time with, between Osama and Shireen. Uh, so about living abroad. It's about the pros and cons. Do you know the meaning of pros and cons? Pros means advantage and cons means 
this disadvantage. Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, the pros and cons of living abroad. Okay, and uh, I'd like uh, I, I'll pick two. Uh, we'll have Hanan. Hello, Hanan. Hi, Nancy. How Hi, are you? I'm good. How are you, uh, Hanan? Um, can I just yeah quickly we will talk about we, this is kind of a debate because you guys liked it the last class. So mm -hmm. I'll have you, Hanan, uh, talking about the pros or the um, advantage i think it's at breaking oh okay it might be it might be I my in here my internet and signal and maybe or okay uh the signal is not stable i i didn't hear you okay uh, can you hear me now yes now i hear you okay yeah so hanan you will talk about the pros or the advantage of living abroad Okay, and then uh, I might get Nada. Okay, let me just uh, ask if someone would like to speak. We have here uh, in Akbar, Rania, Yusuf, uh, like, guys, would you like to speak? Because I see all the same people want to speak here. Okay, we'll have uh, then. Okay, Osama. Hello, Osama, again. <laughs> Okay, so Osama, quickly you'll talk about the disadvantage and Hanan. Can you hear me? Well? Yes, I can hear you. Can you guys hear me? I can't hear anyone. No? I can hear you. I, I can hear. Okay, hi Osama, how are you? Yeah, how are you, Hanan? Okay, now guys, you Osama will talk about the disadvantage and Hanan will talk about the advantage. I want you, Hanan, to yeah, talk about like one now point. She's moving uh, her hands. Mm -hmm. I can't hear her. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, it, it seems like uh, it's my internet <laughs> then. Yeah, because uh, Osama and I, we can hear each other. But okay, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Now, now we can hear Ms. Nancy. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you can now? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can oh. hear you. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, um, um, Hanan, you will say one point or, or you say like one advantage about living abroad and then uh, uh, Osama will say one disadvantage about living abroad. Okay. Yes. So, so Usually you... Osama takes disadvantage, Ms. Yeah. <laughs> okay, would you like to say the advantage? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, uh, it's a real feminist. No, no, no. <laughs> feminist. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, okay. <laughs> okay, Hanan, yes, you can go ahead. Okay. For, for, for the advantages, um, for, from my point of view, I think there are many, not only one. Sure. Um, but one of these advantages is to uh, live or learn practically the different culture uh, uh, with each uh, and every detail. Uh, uh, you will live it, not only to read about the culture of the different countries or different uh, places. Yeah. So I think this is the most important thing uh, okay. uh, uh, for me, yeah. at least. Okay. Because I did this uh, once where uh, I was li living for some time in um, Amsterdam. Then uh, I've, I've learned different things, different country, different uh, uh, culture, behavior, uh, style of living. Mm -hmm. Everything yeah. was new. Uh, if I've read only or I watch a movie or uh, documentary channels or whatever, mm. uh, I, will, I would never uh, uh, feel yeah, it the same way like practically I did. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not yeah, easy, really. Yeah, certainly, yes. Um, okay, you know what, Hanan? I, I'll ask you to say one disadvantage and then I'll ask Osama to say one advantage and one disadvantage. That's okay. better. Now. Yeah. One advantage and one disadvantage. Yeah. So you already said one advantage, which is about le learning about you know others and, and learning yeah. about. Okay. It seems like okay. You go go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I can hear you, Hanan. I can't hear Miss Nancy. Okay. Yes, we yeah. others, but we don't hear her. Okay. Uh, yeah. You can say you can like say an advantage uh, uh, while she came back. Okay, we are talking to each other. I agree. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Osama. Yeah, she came back. Yeah, I'm back. I'm already here. Yeah. I didn't go anywhere. We'll come back, Miss Nancy. We missed you. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Osama. Say one disadvantage okay. because we will have to finish yeah. that. I think the most disadvantage you will find ever is discrimination. 
Okay. If you face discrimination in any place, you will you will uh, live a very bad life uh, uh, abroad okay. and uh, far okay. from your country. Okay. Um, uh, this, uh, I can say another one. Um, uh, you can't adapt uh, uh, easily with new cultures. Yeah. You know, uh, we have uh, some traditions in Egypt, some things that we love very much. We, we are familiar mm. more than uh, any other nation. Mm. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I agree with you. Like if you face uh, discrimination at any point, like you can't live with that. So can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear okay. you. Okay. Now it's good that you can hear me. I would like to thank you both for this. And uh, unfortunately it's uh, like time out now. So uh, thank you very much for your participation. You. And then uh, next, next, uh, next time we will talk about culture because like yeah, when I'm, I'm I'd like first to thank you and Mr. and uh, Hanan uh, Muhammad and uh, Samar uh, Shireen and all uh, who talked to us. Uh, really, really, uh, we appreciate your efforts. Uh, really, mm, thanks a bunch, Ms. Ms. <laughs> thank you very much, uh, sure. Sam. Thank you so much, Nancy, for yeah, all yeah. of your efforts. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thanks also mm -hmm. for having us here. Oh, yeah. you're, you're very welcome. Her again. Thanks a lot <laughs> yes. for all. Okay. Thank you so much, Sam. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, um, well, I see that you can't hear me well. Maybe there is a problem with my uh, connection today. So I'd like to say uh, thanks very much uh, for your participation. And uh, next week, we are going to talk about cultures. So yeah, that's uh, next week's topic. And um, yeah, I'll see you all next week. And uh, thanks very much. Bye. Bye.